Could love stop war? You know, you hear sometimes uh, someone's a criminal and then they fall in love with a woman and then they stop their ways, their dangerous ways because they've discovered love. And the next question is, could sex stop war? Aristophanes wrote this play in 411 BC called Lysistrata. It's Greek. The Spartan and Athenian women on both sides of the Peloponnesian War, they got together, the women on both sides got together and decided to withhold sex from their husbands until the war ended. It's a story, it's a play, but what an interesting idea. Because um, I've always felt that men are inherently more violent, more bellicose, more aggressive than women. And I think that women actually probably could hold the keys to peace. So is there anything in the possibility thought that we could end war by women on both sides of an issue getting together, withholding sex from their men? This play was originally written as a comedy in 411 BC, but there seems to be something there just about the difference between men and women. And I was going to have Cleavon do a video and he was going to call it a um, world piece of ass. And I thought that was way too inappropriate, so I decided not to do it. All these peace activists are getting together, religious groups, and no one can seem to bring peace because peace really doesn't pay. War pays. There's money in war. But sex, sex has power beyond money. And, and sex is free. Even people who don't have any money still can broker in that commodity. I'm talking about married couples. I'm talking about um, women having influence with their husbands with sex. Is that, I'm curious how that would play out with uh, um, re religious families as well. Oh, and personally, as a married man, I don't want it to happen to me. <laughs> I don't want, I mean, that would be the last thing I want is my spouse to use sex as a tool to manipulate me. Um, so that's where I personally stand. Cleveland, America!